So, Richie, on that, people think your work is all sunshine and rainbows, but, um, <laughs> excuse the pun. You've been pra- what- practicing that joke all, all morning, have you? <laughs> I, 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 I like how you, well, you apologise for it as if it was uh, unplanned the second time round. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what could I say? I'll get it right on the next one. Hopefully there isn't a next one. No technical glitches. But um, Richie, on that, you've been involved with Daylight and Sunlight Reports for us here for the last five years. So could you just give us a quick overview of what a BRE Daylight and Sunlight Assessment is and what our team does? Yeah, I, I suppose it can be broken down into into two parts. There's the, the impact analysis, which would be the the assessment of how the proposed development is going to impact on the the neighboring properties uh, whether it's the the daylight and sunlight of their windows or the sunlight in their gardens and then the the second uh, category would be uh, the scheme performance how the daylight and sunlight of the proposed development itself uh, performs do they have enough daylight in their in their rooms in their bedrooms and their their kitchens and their living rooms and do they have enough sunlight in the proposed amenity areas whether that's gardens or courtyards or roof gardens or whatever it depends on the scheme and um, but you know they're the two categories the, the two main categories how the development performs itself and how it impacts on its surrounding environment mm-hmm.